Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of all ages. I can't do it. I can't do your thing. Good day, everyone. Um, good you day, can, mate. you can. Yeah, good day, mate. I'm going to steal everyone's thing. So uh, I've been given authority, power of attorney to take over this segment, which we are calling comic book casting because the couch is silent. So uh, the two gentlemen here have been briefed on what we're doing. We're going to try and do something a little bit different. Uh, I've always seen people talk about when a new movie's coming out, Marvel movie, DC movie, and everyone's like, oh, that's bad casting or that's great casting. Everybody wants to voice their opinions, but very rarely do you see a show where people come out and they give out their fan castings and we battle each other with them. So without battle. further ado, we battle because it is a battle. There's going to be a winner and the loser. All right. Awesome. I like it. So... Why don't we why don't we kick things off, shall we? What are we uh, what are we doing today, gentlemen? What's the movie? I believe it is the Fantastic Four. Dream casting of the Fantastic Four. Mm. Which is I a think great first choice. It's very topical. Fantastic because... Four for Life. <laughs> what? For life. Fantastic for life. Correct. For life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, the movie's like coming it. out. So I thought that that's also pretty topical. It's a hot thing. All right. It's not a hot mess. So I believe uh, Aaron and Steve have decided that when we go through the names, we're going to show the pictures on the screen here just so people know who we're talking about. And I'm going to fill it in on a spreadsheet. And then at the end, we're going to show that spreadsheet and um, see who's got the better team. Well, yeah. sorry, the better casting. I just realized I have a prop for this. I should have pulled it out before, but we'll, we're, it's a work it's in progress. Kind of show. Episode, but all right. Oh, it's <laughs> got a clapper. We're ready to cast. All right. Uh, so who goes first? I, I think you should, Aaron, because it's um, your baby. I agree. All right, I'll, I'll roll it out. So I think the general thing that we're going to go ahead is we're going to do a serious cast. We're going to be casting Mr. Fantastic, a.k.a. Reed Richards, Invisible Woman, Sue Storm, Human Torch, Johnny Storm, and The Thing, uh, Michael Jiglis, I forgot his name, <laughs> Ben Grimm, and <laughs> Dr. Doom, or v Victor Von Doom. So uh, we're going to do one serious cast and a jokey cast. So I think we start off with the serious cast. The actor I would like to throw into the running is none <laughs> other than Andrew Lincoln, uh, the guy from The Walking Ooh. Dead, who played, uh, what's his name? The the main, uh, Rick, Rick Grimes. Yeah, Rick there Grimes. we go. That is my Reed Richards. I'm going for an older Fantastic Four. They're a little bit seasoned. Okay. Yeah. Thoughts? Very interesting, Ooh. mate. Mm. I actually don't mind that. Hey, right. He's, I actually you know, don't mind that. He's got he's good good looking man, but he's a bit more rugged. But then if you kind of polish him up, I see a little bit of an intellectual professor in there, like that um, the simple Wikipedia, the fourth photo, you know, a rugged, washed up professor. Okay, okay. Well, um, Steve, you go next, mate, because um, I'm not gonna lie, I did not know that we were gonna be doing a silly casting after this, and now oh. I'm panicking about um, coming up with a silly casting. So I've only got my serious <laughs> answers here. So, Steve, uh, you go for you go next, please, for Reed Richards. All right, well, they're probably gonna be very similar anyway, but let's first. All right, um, <laughs> call me lazy, call me Wendy, I don't care, but I actually went for John Krasinski. Because I thought oh. he was really good in the tiny, tiny little snippet we saw of him. I think he would make an excellent Reed Richards. Mm. Would have so, liked to have seen more, to be honest. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. So it's a younger, it's a younger Fantastic Four. Uh, he looks young. Yeah. And it kind of ties in with the rest of the group that I've got. Mm. Mm. Actually, isn't, isn't Reed Richards generally kind of middle-aged anyway? usually yeah i think so yeah um, yeah john krasinski i think i think he, he, he did a good job that is the laziest answer though i've ever heard technically all, one, shut up. <laughs> all right so for mine um i'm going to go a tiny little bit left field because when it comes to physicalness physicality um mm. this guy doesn't look like reed richards at all 
but I would love it if he joined the MCU. And I, I reckon uh, after a certain role that he did, um, he could really pull it off. And that is uh, none other than Matt Smith. Oh, what? Ooh. Yeah. Int it's oh. been a pretty good stuff, that. I like this too. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 I'm a bit put off with the answer because, again, he doesn't he doesn't look anything like a Reed Richards. However, yeah. there's there's Hollywood, you know, they can they can yeah. pull it off somehow. In your defense, Bo, yeah. I don't think Miles Teller looks like uh, Miles Teller was the guy who played Reed Richards in that. You know, when they did that reboot yeah. when they're all young, I didn't think yeah. he looked like a Reed Richards, but they they tried to make it work. You know, so that's true. That's true. I think Matt Smith has the chops. Yeah. 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 So do I. He's yeah, definitely got the range for it. Mm. Ooh, interesting. Right. First round. I uh, like Susan it. Storm. Okay. So for Susan Storm, aka the Invisible Woman, uh, and I noticed there's a there's a bit of a theme with most uh, of my other my next two actors from the British island. Uh, I think she's British. Rebecca Ferguson. Great Britain, Rebecca Ferguson, who was in Mission Impossible: Rogue Nation. Oh, you mean you mean Rebecca Ferguson, who was in The Greatest Showman? Oh, also, yes, that was also in her IMDb credits when I did my research. But she, I believe, falls in line with my older, more sort of weary Fantastic Four, who've been through the runner a little bit. Um, but at the same time, you know, she's a good looking lass, blonde hair, blue eyes, fits the bill. Um, you know, got, is she like, blonde? A... Uh, oh, yeah, of... yeah, she's a yeah. dirty blonde, yeah, yeah, okay. dirty. Well, the thing is, look, <laughs> if you look at some of the photos, she's got a rather athletic build, which I think you know works well for anyone who's going into superhero movies, yeah, yeah, okay. look at that, she got arms. She got the okay. Guns. Yeah, They're handy. You definitely, you definitely got to have arms to <laughs> play a person. I think. Um, the invisible nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to all the people that don't have arms. Um, all can't right, click the like button. <laughs> Steve, like, Steve. like and subscribe for arms. <laughs> like all right. Um, Sorry. All right. So my <laughs> pick for Susan Storm is Natalie Dormer. Ooh. From the, the British Isles. From the British Isles as well, Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, I dig her. Great, a great actress. Really, really good range. Mm. Um, yeah, she'd be, she'd be an interesting choice, I reckon. I would not be unhappy if she got the gig. That's for sure. Um, mm. All right. How about this for a little bit of um, uh, a quiz? What MCU movie has she already been in? Captain America. First, That's right. The first Avenger. Yeah, she was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very, very small role, though. But, yeah, so yeah she was. So took a paycheck for it, so. Yeah, I don't think she was quite as famous. I think, was that before Game of Thrones? No, it was after Game of Thrones, I think. During? First Avenger. During, no, yeah. I, think, I don't think it was after. Just mm, before okay. maybe. Tell us in the comments, folks. All right. Well, I uh, for my Susan Storm, I am picking the greatest female actress of all time, and that is uh, Christina Ritchie. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Mm. Yeah. Huh. Okay. There's. I think so she's the, awesome. Yeah, yeah, so, so do I. She, she's my Hollywood crush. Someone's at the door. Apparently, yeah. someone's at the door. <laughs> so wait, who was Bo? Who was your uh, Reed Richards again? Matt Smith. Matt Smith and Christina Ritchie. They both have just enough of a weird look. I feel that. Well, you know, she can She's pull off the actress. blonde. She can pull yeah. off the blonde as well. If you've mm -hmm. seen the TV show Yellow Jackets. Hmm. If you have not seen Yellow, Yellow Jackets, Jacket, excellent. Oh, very good. Amazing. I love that show. Cannot wait for the next season. Um, so, yes, there you go. Okay. I can see the blonde. I can see the blonde. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm really, I'm really, I'm, I'm really picking. I've just realized not necessarily people that might be best for the role, but just people that I want in the <laughs> MCU. You know. Bias um, casting right. is allowed. Johnny Storm time. Okay. Johnny Storm. And mind you, yeah, bias casting. There's, there's no wrong answers. You know, in Hollywood, it's, it's about who you know, man. It's about who you know. You're an executive. <laughs> And you want to throw Christina Ritchie in the mix. Okay, now for Johnny Storm, um, I went really left field with this because I was just trying to find somebody I thought fit the bill and believably is the brother of Rebecca Ferguson. I went with Dan Stevens, who is known for their role in Downton Abbey. Oh, wow. Uh, you know what? I know this. I, I've never watched Downton Abbey, but have you seen Legion? Oh, yes. is that him? That's him. Yeah, yeah he's he in is, Legion, yeah. He ah. is brilliant. And he he's was also good. in the latest Godzilla X-Kong. Yes, I've, I've seen something about that. He is he is really, really good actor. Mm. Well, that's Very good. I mean, great. I primarily went with him because I just thought he had the look, but it's good to hear that he's got the chops. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think the look's real important, you know, in the first, the first contact. Yeah, that is, that is that is that's a good, a good call. I like that. I like yeah, that. very good, mate. Um, all right, Steve Rooney. All right, um, I went for someone a little bit different. I picked a gentleman by the name of Anthony Ramos, who was in Hopkins. Transformers: Rise of the Beast. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins. I thought he was going to say Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> yeah, it's no, not the top Anthony cast Ramos. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I know this guy. Yeah. It's got that young blood. Yeah. Okay. So you see this bit of theme with my team. They're slightly, some of them are slightly a little bit younger. Yeah, you're yeah, you're, you're doing the youngify thing. You're trying to for the new generation. Um, <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> Gang sign. No, he's a pretty pretty um, good young actor. Mm. I like him. What's he been in? I uh, was in Transformers: Rise of the Beast, and there was something else I saw him in recently. I can't remember what it was. Oh. Um, okay. Um, I have three different picks for Torch. Um, so it's a bit hard. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You're the so th okay. okay. So there's, again, there's one that I Listen think. Triplets. Would be, <laughs> there's one that I think would be really good. And then there's one that, like Christina Ritchie, Probably doesn't look like him, but I want him in the MCU. So I'm, I'm going to go with that theme. Um, and that is um, – we can also talk about the people we didn't pick that are on our list. Um, I am going with Aaron Paul. Oh. <laughs> oh. As the human – Great toy. actor. Yeah. Great actor. Thank you. He is. I just – man, I just don't – I think because he started doing more bold recently – I'm just like. Yeah. Can you imagine Johnny Storm his hand wouldn't burn like, off? Flame on, bitch! Flame on, bitch! <laughs> Flame on, bitch! Man, I've heard, I've heard weirder. Oh, for a future episode, I've got that's that's some great suggestions. But yeah, flame on, bitch. That's your that's your theme. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. coughs> ben Grimm. Very. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> So for Ben Grimm, I thought another thing that we should throw into the mix is, um, is your Ben Grimm going to be like the original Michael Jiglis in a costume or is your Ben Grimm CG? Well, that's up so, to you, I guess. Well, right. So mm. that's something to consider. So what I yeah. did was I'm, I'm opting for a, a CG, a mocap Ben Grimm. Uh, and the actor's voice is going to have just some minor modulation just to make it a little bit deeper because he's all he's a rock man. Uh, and I'm throwing in David Duchovny from the X Files. Oh, as my oh. Wow. similar sort of age to Andrew Lincoln. Yeah, just I don't know. He's got this sort of seriousness. I saw him in an interview, and he seems even more serious in interviews than as um uh, as Mulder. And yeah, right. Yeah, man. I don't know. I was just it just something vibed. I was like, yeah, fuck it. He's um he's the thing. Wow. Did you watch uh, Californication? 
No, I did not. Oh, Aaron, you would but love that, that show. <laughs> you because would of love the writing. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a, it is so <laughs> funny. It is so funny. When we're off the when we're off the air, can you remind me to tell you about a couple of episodes? Thank you very much. Absolutely. I think we're off the air now, so please begin. <laughs> 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 uh steve all right um so the thing i went for a guy who's already played a character has been in a suit before um had a large red hand like it was made from rock i'm going with david harbour oh, oh nice he played hellboy okay nice okay. and also the sheriff in stranger things oh i like that i like that that's a that's a really nice yeah yeah I, I, I could see him doing the role. And and with Azza too, I'm saying, look, I, my budget's okay, so I'll mo-cap him. You're mo-cap My budget's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I think, a good budget, I think so, yeah. One thing we can discuss about later, right, is that the star power, what's our budget like? Because if I'm going to comment on mine, I feel like mine's coming in at a fairly low budget, you know? We've got, like, B, C listers. Something <coughs> Tight right? ass. <laughs> we run a tight ship here, right? We want to make a lot of movies cheap. Um, okay, so my Ben Grimm is 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 also uh, mo capped, um, and it's going to be Mr. Joseph Gordon Lovett. Man, you've got a you've got a weird. You're clear. You you've got like that nepotism casting. Like, who's in it? Ah, he's my nephew. <laughs> He's my nephew. I gotta put him in the film. <laughs> I'm I reckon. I reckon if he bulked up and got a little bit bigger, he'd be a you know a good. The other the, the other one that I was going to go with was John Cena. Um, <laughs> you know, but he, I didn't. I, I did, yeah, you know. Um, but no, I think the voice Joseph Gordon Lovett would be able to pull on. He's done some accents before in other stuff, um, and he's a really good actor. So if he didn't have him as his human form for too long, I reckon he could do Ben Grimm pretty well. Huh. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. This is a really bizarre... This is really left field. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say something. That's right out of left field. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I will say, well, it can't work. There's, there's been times when the audience have been proven wrong and Hathaway as Catwoman you know uh heath ledger as joker like but may, you you might make history one way or another with your with your movie <laughs> well at least at, at least um whether whether you agree or not the one with my list the one thing you have to agree is that they're all solid actors yeah yeah oh 100 they are yeah, yeah. yeah um all right dr doom um I don't know if you can call this a cop out or like I really just thought it would be cool. Um and I actually want to see more Doom without the mask because for Doctor Doom I wanted to cast following the British Island thing Christian Bale. But he's already but, uh, okay. No no, but it doesn't have to be MC. Let's say in a hypothetical Fox suddenly came into a massive windfall of money and just bought Fantastic Four back off Marvel. I don't know, man. I like Christian Bale. I feel like, look, I never saw Thor Love and Thunder, but I heard that he was the high point of that movie. And if he can make that movie shine with his performance, him as, you know, like Dr. Doom, a complex yet, you know, still pretty much evil, a bit sadistic. I think if we push him more sadistic and less, you know, uh, like like uh, Patrick Bateman in American Psycho. He's got power, but he's also got insecurity. He's a little bit unhinged. He's reached the later stage in his life, and a lot of his plans haven't quite, you know, come to fruition. He's a genius, but then he also feels incredibly lonely as a result. So I think Christian Bale can bring that kind of complex crazy, you know? Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, he is a brilliant actor. Mm. Uh, American yeah, Psycho is... American Psycho is one of my favorite movies of all time. Mm. Put makeup on him and then have the mask come back, make a return at the end. Maybe have him sort of um, trying to be good or pretending to be good or whatever. And, and Why then, would the mask know. be in it? Jim Carrey? No, no. <laughs> 
Jim Carrey. <laughs> <is Dr. Doom. laughs> should, I should have written that one down. Oh, that we're is not, kind. <coughs> we're not up to the joke section yet, but that's that's the <laughs> ideas for when we get to the joke section. I'm gonna we're gonna have fun with it. Right. Steve, Doctor Doom, mate. All right, I'm actually really happy with this pick of mine. So, um, for those of you who have not seen their TV show called, it's a series called The Man in the High Tower. It's a great series. It's pretty much um, if Germany and Japan actually won World War II and what yeah. life would be like in America. So, the guy that plays one of the Nazis in that is a guy by the name of Rufus Sewell. And he's a fantastic actor. You'll know him as soon as you see him. Oh yeah, yeah. I know oh. that guy. I just he has a real presence to him, and I think that's something that Doom needs. I mean, we had Julian McMahon, the Aussie play Doctor Doom way back when, and he was mm. yeah. But you need someone who's got some real strength and and stuff behind it, and that's what I love about Rufus Sewell. He's just a fantastic actor. Look at his cheekbones. He, he you could you could like you would crack the mask with those cheekbones. Look at this guy. And it's just his up. voice, he has a massive presence about him. He's just great, a great actor. Look, already from the look, there's something about him that's a little bit unsettling. Like he's... Yeah. Yeah, his eyes. His eyes are kind of throwing me off, dude. I'm like, this guy knows too much. I like... I reckon that's a, that's a winner. I reckon that's, that's a winner. A, that's a, yeah, that's a really good one. Bo, who would you Stop like to vote. see as Dr. Doom in the MCU? <laughs> Well, I'm actually really happy with my one as well. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen a little show by the name of Vikings. Oh. Yep. Uh, this guy is would be awesome. Alex Hogue Anderson as Ivar the Boneless. Oh, from, yeah. From uh, Vikings. I reckon he would be a great doom. Okay. I have I agree. seen Vikings. I know Steve has conveyed to me what what does he bring to the table that that that, that does doom for you? Uh, well, first of all, he's a hunk. I mean, <laughs> look at those look at those piercing eyes. Um, mm. If you if you saw Vikings at all, you'd see the way he can use his face as evil. It's just great, and he's a good actor, man. He's a good actor. Mm. Um, and again, he yeah, has a I, real presence about him too, doesn't he, mate? Yeah, yeah. He's just, um, you know, he's basically those, born a cripple. Yeah, yeah. That's and, just and, why he's and he's, the that's what, because his legs don't work, but he manages <clears> just to survive throughout the whole thing and lead armies and all sorts of stuff. The guy's just, but he again, he has a real presence about him too. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. So then, that's our list. Let's go take a look now. Um, I, th I think we've done pretty well for time. I mean, we managed to get we we made our points. We presented our people, and yeah, this is, we're off to a good start. It's a good first episode. All right. Um, I've got to say, I've, I've got to say, I, I I'd really like to see my <laughs> my one on the screen. <laughs> I really would. <laughs> I. I reckon, uh, I reckon Steve's one might be the most likely to get made. Yeah. On a on a fairly yeah. reasonable budget. No, no, um, that is that is that is true. I agree. I think it's got you know like bringing John Krasinski back is gonna please a lot of people. Uh, Natalie Dormer hasn't really got her time to shine uh, in movies. I think David Harbour being able to come back and not even his fault, but redeem himself at the expense of you know i mean because other people screwed up his the films that he was in um rufus seal looks like a great one and i think anthony ramos would tick a lot of boxes as this sort of like the young and the young face of the film i gotta give it to steve i reckon this is the most marketable fantastic four film thank you mate appreciate that but i'll tell you what i love your cast here of andrew lincoln i would not have ever thought of Put him in a role like that, I could just see him absolutely nailing Reed Richards. I think he'd be brilliant. He's got, I mean, he's demonstrated range in The Walking Dead. Like, he's got the look, I felt. I, I went off the look first and foremost. I just can't imagine a Reed Richards, you know, going like, um, 
Like, Hello, <laughs> governor. Right? How are the chips? No. no, what's the line? Carl. Carl. You know, Carl. Goes, Carl. Carl. Victor. <laughs> Victor. Victor. <laughs> Well, clearly that's um, not how he's gonna be exactly. <laughs> I do have to admit, I do have to admit that I totally disagree with David Duchovny as Ben Grimm. I think that is a horrible. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about it now, and I think that's a horrible, horrible uh, way to go. Because think about David Duchovny's voice, right? Because that's uh, that's predominantly what you're using. Can you can you picture? Ben Grimm was meant to be this, you know. I'm from, I'm from down the street. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, 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 oh. If it, you know, if it, is a New Yorker, he's got a subtle one, and I'm sure he yeah. could push it a little bit further. But David Sometimes Duchovny always right. sounds. David Duchovny always sounds like he's he's a guy that's like just trying to slip into you. You know, like hey, I just want to. <laughs> hey, you know, know, I can't ben, ben Grimm. It's a different, you know, like they've they've had their time trying to be all PG and now they're all a little bit jaded and maybe the thing, you know, is he dude, the guy has a rock thing. He's spent <laughs> decades not being, you know, of course he's going to start to get a little bit pent up and wound up and become David Duchovny-esque. It's just the inevitable passage. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> Uh, now, now we're going to do everyone. Yeah. Okay. So Reed Richards, um, Aaron. <laughs> okay. Uh, since we're just absolutely taking the Mickey uh, for Reed Richards, I want, I want Will Ferrell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <I w> <coughs> all right. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, Eric. I want, yeah, Will Farrell. You won already. <laughs> Come on. Come on, dude. Just with the little, with the, the whites on the sides of his head. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I like it. We're off to a good start. I like it. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Do we just wow. become best enemies? <laughs> okay. Enemies. Reed Richards starts uh, yelling at the top of his lungs. Like, my arms. You know, I don't know, but you get it. Um, all right, um, Steve. All right, something really stupid. Uh, James Hetfield. <laughs> Not even an actor, really. <laughs> we didn't say they had to be actors. <laughs> oh my god, man! That's such wow. a, such a... <coughs> this is that weird. is a weird, that is that is a really really weird choice. I don't know why that sung to me, <laughs> but it did. Oh my god! Okay, you're, you're gonna have a movie that's the most marketable, and then a movie that's like nobody's even gonna look at the script. <laughs> I want to pay to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Okay. Come on, what do you got? Uh okay, so for my Reed Richards, it's gonna be none other than Richards. Uh, <laughs> I read Richards, bitch. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> we're, yes, we're going for an actually comedic casting. It's a comedic fantastic four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope you like that one. Um, I'm gonna. I do. I, I, need, I do. That tickles my fancy. I need to look up um, a, a, a Susan Storm. Yeah, I um, I had one before, but I feel like I can do okay. Um, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna throw in. Um, I'm gonna throw in Natalie Portman because. Will Ferrell's obviously carrying the team of comedy along. Wait till you hear my other uh, cast. Uh, because I thought she did well. There was this movie called Your Highness with uh, Danny McBride and James Franco. She's basically just the serious, good-looking one. And she plays that really well. And she has, like, a few comedic moments. But she is the only one in the cast that is not 
just nonsensical. So yeah, Natalie Portman as my invisible woman. And she's, she can have fun. But she's already been in Thor. And she's already been in Thor. This is, dude, this is a movie <laughs> never getting made. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Okay. Next time, you're going to have to state the rules. <laughs> um, okay. So, single issue, Steve. Susan Storm. Caitlin Jenner. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're going to have the most expensive cast made up of non-actors. Oh, my God. That is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> well, oh, I'm not going to say anything about acting. <laughs> um, oh, we'll throw it to Paul. We'll throw it to wow. Paul. Quick, wow. quick, move on. Yeah. Move okay. on. Don't think. <laughs> um, what have you got, though? I have... No, that's the wrong she's person. No, that was, was not. Say, she's a great actress. Yeah. No, that that was that was not that was good the job. wrong woman. I got the wrong name. Good, good selection. Good job, great selection. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm looking on IMDb. Did you? Were you um, trying to say Michelle? I'm, I'm, no, I'm trying to think of. Uh, you know what? Talk amongst yourselves for a sec. <laughs> oh, he's pulling a pass card. He needs time. Um, <sighs> For some reason, I don't know how to use IMDb on the laptop. Um, okay, we'll give you a moment on your phone, and I'll ask Steve this. Steve, uh, in the serious casting, who do you reckon had the best Invisible Woman? Oh, that's her. So, that's who I was thinking of. So who do we have? We had Natalie Dormer. Run through the other ones again. Rebecca I'm Ferguson old, I forget and Christina Ricci. And Christina Ritchie. I look, I love Christina Ritchie. I think she's a great actress. Um, I'd probably say Rebecca Ferguson or Natalie Dormer. Sorry, but I agree. Have you seen it? My picks? No, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Jessica Lange. Jessica as, Lang. As Invisible Woman. Imagine how funny it would be Ricky Gervais and his wife is like 80 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so Hugh Jackman. Mind you, very good actress too. Yeah. I went to American Horror Story and for some reason I thought her name was Angela Bassett, but that is not correct. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It was um, close. It was close. <laughs> uh, Johnny Storm. For Johnny Storm, and you're going to start to see a pattern uh, from this point on, I, uh, I want Jack Black. <laughs> Yeah. That is hilarious. Just pure. That is hilarious. Especially Jack Black, how he had that really goofy blonde hair in Tropic Thunder. Um, or, or you know, with, with without the beard, I don't think it matters. I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter. He's he's the human torch. And the beard's on oh. fire too. Can you imagine All the time. Jack the beard's got to be on fire all the time. The beard's on fire. Even when he flames off, the beard's still on fire. Yeah. Oh, my God. That would be so funny. Um. Imagine right. him in the suit. Okay. Um, Steve. <laughs> Danny DeVito. <laughs> Good man. Good man. <laughs> oh god. Beautiful. I just like I just like seeing him in things. He's great. Oh my god, <laughs> Danny DeVito. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Ball. Can you follow the train? Come on, babe. Yeah, yeah, I certainly can. Um, okay, so my Johnny Storm would be none other than um, – oh, hang on. Why isn't my mouse work? Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, oh, man, I've got like three people I want to choose, and I don't know which one. Um, Pick another short, fat comedian. Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> There's a theme. Why? A why? A theme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our Johnny Storms are messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, our Johnny know. Storms are comedic value. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I realize now I haven't thought of who my joke Doctor Doom is, but I'm sure we'll we'll, we'll, we'll circle around back to it. Um, I'm just putting in my Ben Grimm, who I just thought of. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Well, okay. Ben Grimm for you. Who else to play a man made of rocks other than Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Oh, 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 and and it's makeup. It's not mocap. It, <laughs> it's just yeah, like his face, like basically how Michael Chiglis had it, just just the rock, and you can see his face and everything. And I really want him to bring specifically his um wrestling, the rock persona, <laughs> the rock Ben Grimm. Yes. Well. <laughs> Oh, actually, maybe he should wear a suit. <laughs> oh, you can't see it. Hang on, I forget. You need to hang on. Um, I, I do like I like <laughs> what I see in that image already. Okay, it it's it's mocap. The <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. That is hard to look at. <laughs> oh, it's disturbing. That is what the really shit. Gross. But you know I what? knew there'd be a picture. I knew there'd be a picture. It's perfect, and it's still better than the Scorpion King. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock uh, as the the thing, the Rock Monster. All right. Um, so now it's Steve's turn. All right. I'm going with Alf. What? A Alf the puppet? Or do you mean? Yeah. Or do you mean Al Alf from Home and Away? Alf. No, Alf, Alf the Puppet. Oh, you're, How? You're, you're messed up, dude. You're messed up. You can't have Alf. Like... Yes, I can. There were no rules. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, that is you're so... complaining that I haven't picked actors, and now that I pick an actor, you each go, well, you can't pick him. Then you're going to be so like, bad. and then for Dr. Doom, it's a carrot. Oh, my God. <laughs> ben Grimm going around. Ben <laughs> Ben Grimm going and eating cats. <laughs> All right. So Alf, uh, who are you okay. going with, mate? Top that. Um, I think <laughs> my I think my Ben Grimm would be fantastic, and that's oh. Hugh Grant. That would actually that would actually be fun. Hello, <laughs> and it's it's clobbering time. <laughs> it's clobbering. Time. Oh, I hope he does it with the British accent. If you don't mind awfully, I'll do some clobbering right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I think he has to do his finest British accent, please. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's not happening. All right. Last but not least, um, Dr. Doom. I, I thought I forgot it and I knew I had it. And, you know, we've got Jack Black, we've got The Rock. So who else is going to play Dr. Doom but Kevin Hart? <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> yes. Come on. <laughs> That's great. Oh. That is great. Oh the the shortest, most hyperactive Dr. <laughs> Doom. Just jumping out at Will Ferrell. Come on, they, they both have good chemistry, you know, and Will Ferrell's just going to be like, I don't know who you are. He's going to push him away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that, Aaron. That is great. That's that a great a call. I enjoy casting so the comedic ones way better than the serious ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. Um, oh, SIS, go. All right. Kevin Hart. I'm uh, not Kevin Hart. Kevin James. Oh. Kevin James. Kevin James would make a great thing. No, uh -huh. Dr. Doom. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Doom, you dig <laughs> it, it, He literally, come on, he'd make a great comedic thing. Yeah, you I don't actually. need one. I've got oh. Alf. I got Alf as my thing. I don't need Kevin James' thing. It needs to be oh. Doctor Two. Your casting hurts me, Steve. Great <laughs> <laughs> pain and discomfort in my chest. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, come on, both. Who you got? Last one. Uh, well, this was this was the my first pick of all the silly ones, actually, um, and that is. Um, Bob Hoskins. Uh huh. <laughs> As your doctor too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Nice. 
Uh, for a comedic one, I think that actually work. I think that'll work well. Hey, hey it's me, uh, Mr. Doom. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so let's take a look now. <laughs> this is a good system. And again, we're trialing this out for the first time. I think this is a good... We've got a serious, and we've got... <laughs> my God. Steve, your list. It's disgusting. <laughs> can you imagine James You're Hetfield? Welcome. Can you imagine James Hetfield, Caitlyn Jenner, Danny DeVito, Alf, and Kevin J? Oh my god, that is that is nuts. That it's is a list nuts. that only somebody would like could just dream of. Nobody would ever submit this list. See, Bo. All right, here's now I have to flip it. Where Steve before I said your casting was the best, Bo. I think yours could actually make for a pretty solid... You know, like they did Spaceballs as like a parody of... I think yeah. yours could make a pretty solid um, comedic parody of the Fantastic yeah. Four. <laughs> Meanwhile, having Jack Black and The Rock on the same team, like, that would be... Can hilarious. I just say, Kev, casting Kevin Hart as Dr. Yeah. Doom is absolute genius. It is. Kevin it is. Hart... The Rock, Jack Black, Will Ferrell, Natalie Portman's in there to just basically be like, these dudes are insane, but then she can have fun and she looks good and, you know, she's a good actor and she's like, why am I in here? I think I think we're onto something for comedy, you know? Um, all right, so to final to finalise it, can we talk about some picks um, that we didn't mention that you might have had on your list? Because I've got a couple. All right, tell us yours, mate. Go for it. Um, all right, so share screen. Okay, so let's see here. I had um, for Reed Richards. Oh, oh wow, he's pretty old though, but yeah, that's why I didn't choose him. It's like an Elseworlds kind of thing. But, you know, back in his younger days, mate, I reckon he would have been pretty good. Mm, mm. Like 10 years ago, maybe. We, we, we're not talking back in bachelor party days, are we? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, for Doom. Colin Hex. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he can He's, do it. Uh, yeah, he can. He can. His penguin's very good. Yep. Yeah, considering he looks they they looks nothing like it, and people were like, I didn't even know it was him. Yeah. Um, I think this guy's a little too old, which is why I didn't say him, but for the human torch. Ah, yeah. Cons he was in consideration. Now, I've seen a few fan castings talking about Ryan Gosling being him, human torch. I think that's not a bad pick. Yeah, I reckon he could do it. Um who else also also ready as the silver surfer. Ooh. Oh yeah, I can see that. It's a fan casting. Yeah. yeah. He's got he's he's got just kind of a bit of a weird a weirdness to him. Like he's a good looking bloke, don't get me wrong. But like he's got mm. just enough of this a bit of weirdness that I think Silver Surfer he'd be great. Uh for Susan Storm, my second pick was Oh. Mm. I don't know why. I just still feel like she's really. I don't know. Like she looks. She just feels young, you know. Maybe because you know it's why? Totally... It's because you saw her as Hit Girl when she was a yeah, little exactly. girl. Yeah, exactly. And so yeah, even she as she grew up, yeah, she's a full grown. She's a full grown she... woman now. I, don't, I know. <laughs> it's just. Um, it's you know what she's she's got to me. She's got a little bit of like um uh like Rory from Gilmore Girls where they're like. They just have this really young look, and there's going to be a large chunk of time when they're just going to get cast as that character, you know? Like Leonardo um, like DiCaprio did. Right, right, because they've got this naturally young look that it's only once they cross over into, like, their 40s, then they're like, oh, now you can get cast for your 30s. All right, as uh, a quick quiz question for you. Which metal singer is in Gilmore Girls? Sebastian Bach. One of the greatest metal uh, singers of all time, in my opinion. Agreed. Next next Human Torch. Ooh. 
I you know, really like that. I almost That's cool. I might almost throw him up for a Reed Richards if you were trying to do a younger. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Yeah, younger, I could actually yeah. get a bit more. Good, point. good call, um, guys. Another, another Reed Richards, though. Um, too, too buff, man. The the guy, the brother, the brother is too big. He's too yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. Reed Richards. He's too good looking to be Ben Grimm. He is Superman. Like he is true blue, you know. I, the man's perfect. All right. What about this for the Human Torch? I did. I did think about that. Um, I think yeah, yeah. I'm I'm down for that. I I could, I could vibe with that. Um. All right. I've got one more, and this is for Doom. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, he he looks like William H Macy with that with that mustache. He does. He yeah, does. He I don't know very much. I don't know what yeah. that picture's from. It's it's from real life, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. I've just been getting a coffee. Yeah, but, but yeah, but why? When did he? Yeah, he he looks bang on. I was just like William H Macy. You know who I I would have thrown in for uh, Invisible Woman if we were gonna go for the younger route because she's she seems pretty um, hot now. Uh, Anya Taylor Joy, uh, she was in Mad Max. Yeah, you know, man. Yeah, she, she, yeah. yeah love with the blonde, like for for a young, you know, they try and do the young thing. Yeah, I her, dig her. She's yeah. Daniel Radcliffe, and then chucking a couple of younguns. She you went really well with Alf. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? Should work she really, really well, well with Elf. <laughs> we're not. We're past that. We've pa we're putting that behind I'm us. Not. We're putting Elf behind us. And you know it's funny. Ever since um, Steve said James Hetfield, um, <laughs> I can't help but but think of um, of this guy for um, Reed Richards now as well. Oh no, no, <laughs> no, dude, no, ew, brother, ew. <coughs> he looks like he, he and one of his friends would be opening up an antique shop somewhere, <laughs> dude. Give him, give him uh, Ben Grimm and just voice only. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> says, <laughs> oh my god, imagine <laughs> Axel Rose, imagine Axel Rose's golem. Ah, oh, no, no CG required. Welcome to the <laughs> have you guys got have you guys got any more no i'm spent i have to say i really like steve's david harbour as ben Grimm. that you know i i know the guy's getting typecast into getting makeup put on him and he's a big but that that's just probably got really, a complex he's got a, yeah now he's just like they keep putting me in makeup and you know making me gain weight yeah but now nah, like He's got that gentle giant kind of persona. Uh, I saw him talk at Metro Comic Con last year, and he like he's a really like nice guy, and he's you know got his head screwed on right. Oh come on, see look look at people throwing his name in. David Harbour should be the MCU Ben Grimm. Yeah. Easy, yeah, good casting. Mm. I, I'd call this a pretty successful first episode. All up, five characters, yeah. two different castings. I think it went yeah. really well, fellas. I'm happy with that. So, a great way to spend a Friday night. Absolutely. This was fun. And until the next time we can bring you, what, the X-Men draft of the Avengers, how about Justice League draft? Tell Spedzi. Yeah, yeah. We just uh, need Spedzi to be free. He's, uh, yeah. he's too busy painting the town red. He's, he's making, he's making you know, things happen, you know? So until then... We'll, we'll come back with something. Another episode. Yeah, yeah well, that, that, that was going to be something. No, good work, Aaron. Or good work. I'm really glad that uh, you came up with this one. Um, yeah, great idea. Because of that, you that get fun. to um, lead us out. Uh, so if you like what you saw, which you, of course you're going to like what you saw, you're going to want to go ahead and click the like button. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button, why not? What's wrong with you? Do it now. Do it now. Uh, and then let us know in the comments whose team was the best, which casting you thought was the best, 
And if you have your own suggestions for castings, you're going to want to chuck that in the comments right now. And oh, since we're, we're on this topic and I get to sign us out, Sination Comics, you're going to want to hop on there because uh, our, our latest comic, Gods Among Men, is currently available worldwide digitally on all the major platforms. So go click the link and check it out. And until then, we're going to see you at the next comic book casting where the couch is silent, but we are not. Oh, baby, there we go. How you doing? That's it. That's prepared, yeah. We've got, we've um, got physicals. We've got digitals. We've got them all. And yeah, last but not least, last but not least, boys, I want you to say it on the count of three. One, two, three. What is Aussieverse? Four. Yeah. Peace out. <laughs>